What is the engine for the new Ford Mustang Shelby GT350? I'll tell you. Bentley says, hey, rich people, here's the new Mulsanne Speed. Mercedes is like hybrids, hybrids, more hybrids. And Fiat's 500X is leaked. Plus, it's Friends Day Wednesday. Always a good day, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. What's going on, everybody? I'm Derek D. And if you didn't know you're watching Fastlane Daily, then what do you know? Because it's obvious. Hey, Max, why don't you hit me with 1948. the 1948. What was it? 1948. Oh, yeah, that's right. 1948. And in the year 1948, the first Porsche concept was completed. It was called the number one and previewed the 356 production car that was to come. And if I'm not mistaken, they've done pretty well since. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's your FLD 1948. Fact. Oh, man. All right. Have you guys watched our car news, he's king of car news video yet? If not, you're doing yourself a disservice. It's up on my YouTube channel right now, or just click the link in the description. Go watch it, repost it, like it, share it, love it, be entertained, and learn why everyone should be watching FLD. You already know, you're watching. You gotta spread the love around. Get people to watch this show. Because we love you guys, right? Oh yeah. Bam, king car news. Funny, a lot of people like it. Oh yeah. I dig it. Big time. So, some of the first official images of the Fiat 500X have leaked online. I love these leaks. Mm. It, it, it's so not leaked. It's done on purpose most of the time. Anyway, it doesn't show much, but we can see it looks almost identical to the design concept from 2012. The crossover is based on the Jeep Renegade and will debut with a bunch of four-cylinder engine options. There should be a 4x4 option and uh, two or three transmissions, manual, automatic, or dual clutch. The 500X will debut at the Paris Motor Show next month. In related news, why? What? <laughs> why do you need a 500X? Uh, Mercedes is about to up its hybrid game uh, a whole bunch. By 2017, they plan on having 10, 10 new plug-in hybrid vehicles that will average one new hybrid vehicle every four months starting with the S500 Hybrid. That car has a 20-mile electric-only range before the 3-liter twin-turbo V6 says, hey, you need some help? Combine the hybrid setup packs 436 horsepower and 479 pound-feet of torque. That's right, Erica. Then Mercedes hinted that the new C-Class will probably be the next model to get a hybrid. They hinted at it, huh? How'd that go? What are you like, Psst, yo, check us, son. A new C-Class, about to cop hybrid style, son, son. Pretty sure it sounded exactly like that. Yeah, pretty <laughs> when sure. When they hinted at it. Right. The executives they sound like that. Bentley has turned up the heat on its new Musan Speed model. Bentley calls it the fastest ultra-luxury driving experience in the world. You gotta love these grand claims from companies who cater to the rich. Anyway, they uh, back that claim up with a 6.75 liter V8 Make it 537 horsepower and 811 pound-feet of torque. That's right, Erica, that twisty stuff. Zero to 60 says, peace, see you later, 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 Allah, in, in 4.9 seconds. Not one, that'd be insane. 4.9 seconds and top speed ticks up to 190 miles per hour. A new eight-speed automatic gearbox is on board and cylinder deactivation is standard. The suspension has also been retuned for better handling. Mulsanne Speed will cost a massive $409,000 when it goes on sale next month. So like I said, catering to the rich. What's that, Aerosmith song? Eat the rich. It has been confirmed by many reliable sources that the upcoming Ford Shelby GT350 Mustang will use a 5.2 liter V8 to make about 600 horsepower and 430. Happy <laughs> tour. Thank you, Eric. And that's a whole lot of power from just 5.2 naturally aspirated liters. And reportedly there have been some kinks to iron out on prototypes to make sure the car will be ready by 2016. World car fans peep these spy shots, which was nice. Who's excited? I guess people are excited about this. Well, yeah. yeah. 
Find out. Speechless. Speechless. Time to see what FLD's friends are up to for Friends Day Wednesday. Let's check in with FLD fan Aaron Bernstein here. Looks like he just got married. Hey, so congrats to you. Uh, he sent in this picture of a 1988 Plymouth minivan hearse. Ugh. Who wants, to, uh, who wants that to be their final ride? Huh? <laughs> Not I. Israel Singer's buddy snapped this picture of a white Ferrari F430 Spider uh, in a Florida parking garage with a pool noodle as a door bumper. Hey, now that is using a noodle. Yeah. Right? I mean, it makes sense. There's probably a lot of pool noodles in Florida, a lot of pools in Florida. So, you know, this owner was like, hey, I could use that as a door bumper. Right. Hey, I don't blame you, man. All right. Ayush, ba Ayush Bakshi here, just chilling on that brick wall. I think I got your name right. Posted this video, not sure what's going on here, but a man is on the hood of a moving car trying to bash the windshield with a helmet. Car just keeps going. Guy must be pissed about something. He's like, damn it, I told you guys to wait for me. And he just drove <laughs> off. What is just trying to, I don't know what's going on here. Anyway, this is a great Photoshop. FLD fan, <clears throat> Abimelech Oscar Ariano Martinez. I'm gonna try that again. Uh, Abimelech, Oscar, Ariano Martinez. I think I got that right. How's that for a name? That's, that's solid. He uh, grabbed a picture of me, put me in front of a Ford Tempo. Remember a couple weeks ago I was saying how Ford Tempos are like the worst? With a, a I love my Ford shirt. That's Photoshop. That was just a plain T-shirt. <laughs> and on the car it says, throw some hammers back there, which you can't do in a Ford Tempo. I mean, I guess you could, but you can't. And uh, there's an FLD logo on there. And then he put, like, it just says sparkle sounds. So there, there's your sparkle sound. But it's pretty funny. Yeah. I mean, I'm, like, going like this. I'm like, and it's, it looks like I'm actually there. Good, good job, buddy. All right. Ivo Dimitrov. Why so serious, man? Come on. Get happy. Yeah. He's like, he posted this video on our Facebook of a guy so excited about an SRT Hellcat burnout. You just got to listen. Yeah, he's just like, he's cracking up. It's hilarious. He's so excited about this Hellcat burnout. He keeps going, too. It goes for longer than that. It's pretty funny. And last, we have longtime FOD fan Gavin Poquet, who snapped this picture of our good buddy Leo Parente racing in a modified Fiat 500 recently in a Pirelli World Challenge Series race. Leo's the man. Go, Leo. Go, Leo. He didn't win, but still, Leo's a hell of a race car driver. Best of luck, buddy, with any other races you have coming up. I'm not sure. I'm going to text you later and tell you that. If you're, not, if you're not P1, you're last. That's right. <laughs> and thank you, friends. Wow, solid Friends Day Wednesday today, Eric. Oh, yeah. Indeed. Okay, so that new Bentley Mulsanne Speed costs almost half a mil. So our FLD question of the day is, if you could afford that car, would you even buy it? I wouldn't. There's so many other cars I'd buy first, even if I could afford that. I'm just saying. What do you guys think? Just hashtag FLDQ of the D, and uh, you can send your own into Erica. <laughs> Tips at FastLaneDaily.com. You got it. And that's it for Fastlane Daily today. Hump day. We're getting over it. The rest of the week is just going to be smooth sailing. I'm Derek D, and I appreciate you watching. All of you. I do. Seriously. It's a thumbs up for everyone watching. Hey, Max, why don't you hit me with the... Uh, <laughs> yep. double, I'm double gunning it now. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs>